So I want to share with you a couple key secrets that I go about doing in terms of surviving and enduring long painful tattoo appointments that stretched out over multiple days. Now I am no stranger when it comes to doing these type of tattoos. Oh, my track God. record says it all. I've done back to back days so many times that I've honestly lost count. I've done four full days twice and I've also done five full consecutive days on my chest and I am not done just yet because in a week I am going to be flying back to France to start my other late sleeve with Sanji Redford where I have booked another five full days in a row. And <laughs> man, I'm not looking forward to it whatsoever. But with the time leading up into the tattoo, I've really had time to think about how I am able to survive these type of tattoos because not a lot of people do them or should do them. And also I've been praised by a lot of you along with a lot of artists as well in terms of how I'm able to do it. So I'm going to spill the tea. I'm going to share everything that I can. So hopefully you can take something away from this video, implement it yourself and you too can survive those long painful tattoo appointments that stretched out over multiple days or maybe like a week, like what I'm doing. So the first secret that I have for you is a big one that I want you to implement before the tattoo even begins. And this is going to set you up in either the right direction or the wrong direction right off the bat. Now, it's gonna sound a little counterintuitive, but it's to go into your tattoo appointment overthinking the pain. Honestly, go into this tattoo and think it's gonna hurt like a motherfucker. Now, the reason why I say this is because whenever I've went into a tattoo appointment or even a touch up thinking it's gonna be easy, it ends up being a lot more painful than what I was expecting. And from there, my mentality, I just feel like I'm not gonna be able to do this. And that's not what you wanna have and the kind of mindset you wanna have going into those later hours or even later days of a tattoo. But whenever I go into a tattoo thinking it's gonna hurt like a motherfucker, it's gonna be the worst thing ever, it ends up being a lot better than what I was expecting. And from there, it's just a big confidence boost in myself. And then I can say, you know what? Yeah, I got this, I can do this. And those hours feel a lot better. And even those days following are a little bit better as well. Trust me, I, I know this sounds so stupid, but do this. Now, my second secret that I got for you may seem like an obvious one, but it was one that I never really used to follow for myself. So I may sound a little hypocritical when I say this, but I have learned from my mistakes and that is to get a good sleep before the tattoo begins and all of those other days in between. Now, when I used to get tattooed, I would go into these tattoo appointments with like two, three hours of sleep. And that is because I worked the night shift. I still do it, but I would go in, I'd finish my shift, come home, take an hour nap, two hour nap, and then drive and do a 10 plus hour kind of tattoo, followed by another day after that. And what I realized was, yeah, I was able to bang out that first day without a problem, but the second, third, preceding days that followed, I just felt like absolute shit and garbage. And it's not until I changed up my sleeping where I would get a full sleep before the tattoo begins, those second, third days felt a lot better. So take it from somebody that's done both ends, trust me, getting a good sleep before the tattoo begins and all those days in between, it's definitely going to help you in the long run, especially when you have those days that go into like the three, four, five, like what I have coming. Now, the third secret of mine that I have for you is an obvious one, but it goes overlooked a lot of the time. And even in my case, when I know I needed to do it, I still overlooked it as well. And I almost went into shock because of it. And that is to eat. Listen, you got to eat before your tattoo begins during the tattoo and after your tattoo, along with having a lot of snacks in between, also water and sugary drinks as well. I don't think people understand how much energy a tattoo takes out of you. And if you're not replacing all that energy that is being taken out with food, drinks and all that, it's gonna be a downhill spiral. And like I said, I knew I needed to do this, but I didn't do it because it kind of got overlooked. And that was when I was getting my ass tattooed at a convention. I just didn't eat, there was a lot of food there. And because of the scene and the whole environment that I was in, I just, I, I overlooked it. I didn't really think about it, even though I know I needed to do it. And by the time I needed to eat, I was, I was down in the gutter. I almost went into shock and Thankfully, I know my body. I caught myself right at the last moment. So we had to take about a 45 minute break along with a lot of food and drinks to kind of pick myself up before I was able to get back into it. But yeah, definitely, definitely eat a lot beforehand during along with those snacks and drinks in between. It's, it's gonna save you. And also even for when I was getting my chest done, I stopped off at the grocery store before every tattoo I was getting and I just grabbed a whole bunch of snacks and little things that I could to, you know, just get me through the day. Now, the fourth secret that I got for you that I always find myself doing in these later kind of tattoo appointments that I've been doing, and that is setting small goals that kind of equate and build up your confidence. So I would always used to set my goals for like one day when I had a back-to-back. -back. That would mean I'd look at it and be like, oh, that means I'm halfway done. I only got one more day left to do it. 
I got this. Now, it's a little harder when you have five consecutive days because doing just one day of painful tattooing is uh, one fifth and that's, that's a little discouraging. So now I've kind of changed it. I pushed it to two days. Two days is almost 50%. So, you know, I'm almost halfway done. And that's when I hit that, I go, I push it to three. After I hit three, I'm like, oh no, I've already done halfway. I'm more than halfway done. So those last couple of days, I'm able to just kind of again, push that goal line a bit further. And before I know it, my tattoo is done. And it's just because I've built those little confidences up in me from hitting those little goals that I was able to do. It's all a mentality game. I always say a tattoo is just as much as a mental game as it is physical. And if you are able to see you are able to do it, you will get through it. And if you aren't uh, able to say you're going to get through it, then more than often you are going to tap out. So again, all about this. And my fifth secret is the biggest one out of them all. And I hope you all follow this one because this has been like my biggest takeaway from all my tattoos since going into shock. And that is keeping warm as much as possible. I understand and I know kind of the excitement. You go into a tattoo, maybe you're getting your chest done and you just have your whole shirt off or maybe you're getting your back done again, your whole shirt's off, but you just lose so much heat leading up into the point where it just ends up being a downward spiral. That's what happened to me and why I went into shock. So ever since then, I always keep warm in any tattoo I get. Just go watch my friend's video. You'll see I'm wearing a sweater the whole time. The only area being open to him is the area that he needs to tattoo. I had another sweater or t-shirt on my kind of stomach to keep that warm as well. And again, when I go ahead and get my leg sleeve with Sandry, I'm gonna be bringing a pair of sweats. I'm gonna have him cut one of the legs off. So one leg is still being clothed and covered and being kept warm while the other is open for him to work. And I'll probably even throw on a couple pairs of socks to again, keep that area that's not being used or being tattooed warm as possible I'm, I'm telling you i'm telling you warmth is the biggest thing going into a tattoo and kind of making me think through all my tattoos if not i know for a fact i would have probably went into shock one or two times doing those long kind of tattoo appointments and at number six we have keeping comfortable it goes without saying that you're going to be in that chair for a long period of time and take it from me those chairs they get quite uncomfortable very fast so you're just going to want to be as comfortable as possible. Bring a pillow, blanket, extra clothing. Do what you got to do. I like also bringing kind of like a tripod stand so I can have my phone hands-free and maybe just watch a movie like that. But also go and get comfortable with your artist and the shop. Your time in the chair is going to go by a lot faster when you are having fun chatting with your artist and just being overall more comfortable with the environment that you are in. Now, is everything that I said in today's video going to guarantee you an easier tattoo? Well... No, but I can guarantee you it's going to take those long tattoo appointments that you have in store and it's going to make them overall more enjoyable. I have been through trial and error over many times doing many different things and these are the things that I now kind of have come to a thing and said, you know what, they really do work and I follow them and I'm definitely going to be following them when I go ahead and get my leg done next week when I see Sandry and uh, if you are new to the channel, then think about subscribing because it's going to be a tattoo you definitely do not want to miss. And if you've been following the channel for a while, get ready because it's going to be one of my best tattoos yet. I, I, I can almost guarantee you that as well. Now, I also want you guys to go ahead in the comment section and let me know of any secrets or tips that you do to kind of survive and get through long tattoo appointments. I love reading them. And maybe I can implement something new for myself when I go back to France to get that done. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned. I got a sick tattoo coming. <laughs> I promise you that. Like always, Justin out. Later, guys.